The sun is shining today, goodness. What's up, socials? Happy Savvy Tuesday. Let's jump right into your email newsletters, shall we? How good are they really? I mean, how would anybody ever know if they're not even opening them? Maybe you've looked at your open rate for your emails and it's less impressive than you would like. There's an app for that. Just kidding, there's not an app for that. Actually, there could be, I'm just not using it. Old fashioned advice, since there's not an app for that. There are probably a lot of reasons why maybe an email doesn't perform as well as a previous one you may have done or hopefully one you'll do in the future, but let's look at what the first thing people see is, and that is your subject line. Because even if the format Adding, the images, the design, the copy inside the email is good or great or not good at all. The headline is what's keeping them from seeing it and being able to make that decision. One thing I think you really need to avoid doing at all costs is using the headline to describe absolutely everything going on in the email. This is particularly tough for somebody like me who has usually three videos and a podcast and a special note from me in my emails. You would know this if you're an Amy's Elite. I could put three word descriptions for each of those things in the headline and it would be extremely long and it would be extremely confusing. The luxury with the content already being published for a little while before it goes out in an email is I can kind of see which pieces of content got the most traction from the audience, thanks to YouTube and the blog and all that kind of stuff. And I'll typically go with that piece and say, you know what, this is what needs to be featured in the headline. Because if it's doing well already, it's probably gonna help you get some more email opens. Another thing I hope you keep in mind is that email headlines are not meant to be that long. You sure get a lot of characters. You probably could go on forever, a lot of people do. But I like to say stick to about five to six words if you can maybe one or two more, maybe one or two less, because it gives enough information, usually, as long as you get to your point, to get somebody to open an email. It may be tough, it may be hard to analyze what the perfect headline is going to be, but that's what great email platforms like MailChimp and Aweber and probably even Constant Contact, I don't have as much experience with that platform, they allow you to test these different headlines. Maybe send out your email to just a small percentage of your list first, see how that headline is converting and change it accordingly for the rest of the list. <clears throat> Lost my voice there for that sentence. The overall goal here is I hope that you you keep it simple, silly, social, stupid, whichever you want that last S to be. The more simple, the more likely you're gonna get an open because people are busy and if they're taking the time to look at their emails in the first place, it better be enticing so that you can get an open. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat where my headlines are the bomb.com. That link's in the purple bar below. That'll take you to subscribe to my email newsletter. You'll get all the videos, the podcast, and so much more from yours truly. I'll be back tomorrow for Sexy Wednesday.